on my front page of Canvas, I like to have a copy of my agenda so students know what I'm doing every day in class. Not everything is an assignment that I assign and collect, so it's not going to show up in the Canvas assignments. But if they're absent, I want them to see what we're doing. Now, I use a program called Common Curriculum that I have embedded on my Canvas homepage where students can see links to assignments, know what the standards are for the day, do now, driving question, any of that important information. Now, um, you can embed different things such as from other tools potentially, but if you don't have common curriculum, you can add an agenda just using Google Slides. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Right here is a template that I have using Google Slides for an agenda. And on the first slide that I'm going to have, so the one that's always in the number one position is going to be today's date. Then I'm going to have all past ones below it. So when I'm creating new slides for each day, I'm always going to have it the current date as slide number one. What I need to do to be able to use this and to embed this into my Canvas homepage is I'm going to, in my slides, go to File, and then I'm going to go to Publish to the Web. Here, I'm going to choose Embed, and I'm going to keep it as size medium. And then I'm just going to press Publish. It's going to ask me to OK it. And then right now it has this big long embed code, an iframe. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go to my Canvas homepage. And I'm going to click on Edit. And for you, it will probably, you're just going to go um, down to the bottom, but we're not actually going to do it on this view of the page. Right now we're looking at it in the rich text editor feature. Up at the top right of the editing box, you're going to see HTML editor. If you click on that, there's a bunch of garbly gook. Just go to the very bottom of your page, and I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to um, paste that embed code that I got from Google Slides. So control V or command V on a Mac. And I always like to check it before I press save. So I go back to rich content editor, which is kind of the normal view. And here I have my general stuff. I have my common curriculum. I have some Instagram stuff with fake pictures because our district has Instagram blocked. But then if I continue going down to the bottom, I can see my embedded slides. And then I just press save. And if I want to look at this in what the students will see, I can go to student view down at the bottom and scroll down and here is my embedded slides. And students can go back to previous dates. So I would name your slides, like have the title of them, the actual dates. And when I update my slides, so I can change this, I would instead have like today is January 8th. This one here is January 7th. So it takes a few minutes sometimes for it to show on here, like it still says August. If I refresh, it still might show August. Oh, it actually shows January 8th. So then students can click down and um, go to past dates, but they'll always see your current agenda. And anything that you have hyperlinked on your slides, let's say to documents or handouts that you want students to have, they can actually click on it on this embedded slide. So you never have to change this in Canvas again, you just will update your slideshow each day that you need to.